Morning everybody, James Blackall, Joby Commercial Finance here. Um, forgive the rather laid back garb. Um, I'm frankly working from my office this morning so couldn't be bothered to put a shirt on. Um, we'll give a bit of an update about the government's corona business interruption scheme. Um, having heard back from all the banks now, having seen <coughs> some actual clients um, apply for this, it is a very, very laborious process. The application process is very slow, it's very labour intensive and um, it doesn't look like the banks have actually got the capability to handle it. Also, as mentioned earlier, this is still very much a backup scheme to traditional banking security requirements. So if you do have business assets, please don't think you can just go and apply for this loan and it'll all be ignored and you can borrow money and then go off and do what you like with it, having a government guarantee in the background. There are a couple of things we'll be very, very clear about with regard to this scheme. Um, one, the lender, um, the guarantee is for the lender, not the borrower. The borrower is always 100% liable for this debt. You cannot walk away from this debt without a guarantee or there being repercussions. The second is the most important thing, really. As far as traditional banking requests are concerned, it is business as usual for the high street banks. They will still look to take traditional security ahead of this scheme. I've had that confirmed with all the banks yesterday. Um, there is no <coughs> magic bullet out there to inject funds into your business from the government scheme. So it does operate in a very, very similar way to the old EFG scheme. There are differences. The 12-month interest, only six-month capital repayment holiday, these kind of things are, are really good. But the chances of you being approved for the scheme, I'm afraid, are very, very slim, as, as far as I can tell from the banks. Now, there are other lenders doing this um, scheme as well, and some of them run secured lenders. So that's something I'm going to be spending a bit more time on today, trying to get to the bottom of it, because there may be opportunities to use this scheme outside the high street banks, which could be very, very um, useful and very productive for guys like me, and more importantly, for clients. So I'll do, I'll do some investigation on that at some point today, and I'll do an update, because this may be a way for this money to actually get out to businesses to help them without involving the cumbersome and unnecessary processes of the high street banks. Okay, I'm James Backwards. I'm sure I'll be updating you soon. Take care. Bye.